guys! Welcome back to the Musicians Do It Better program. If you don't know me already, my name is Ahana Benerji and I'm going to be a rising senior at High School North. I'm doing this project for my Girl Scout Gold Award, so if you like this video, you know, feel free to check out my other videos or um, join me for uh, my live stream classes to learn more about musical instruments. It would mean a lot to me. Um, so yeah, uh, but speaking of which, uh, I do have three other videos YouTube videos that I've released already. Um, the first one was on percussion instruments. Um, I brought in instruments like the tambourine, the um, the cymbals. I also taught you guys how to make a DIY shaker and we went over many more different types of percussion instruments. For my second video, I went over woodwind instruments. I played the clarinet while my sister played the flute. We also went over major and minor scales and the difference between both of them. And then for the third video, I went over the voice instrument. So we talked about pitch and basically range, the different voice types. So for example, alto, bass, soprano. So um, yeah, if any of that seems to interest you, feel free to check them out. Or um, if you seem like music in general sort of interests you, uh, feel free to join my live streams. I would be very happy and grateful. So um, yeah. Uh, moving on though to this um, this lesson, I'm going to be talking about uh, piano, ukulele, and guitar, um, a whole new set of instruments, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, first, we are going to be talking about chords and basically what chords are, and I'll tell you guys more in depth about them, but basically they are a group of three notes that you play at the same time and they're usually played on these instruments so i can't really play a chord on say a clarinet or a flute i can only play one note at a time but playing three notes or even more at a time you would need the piano guitar ukulele you know instruments like that so um yeah we will be talking about that i'll also be talking about um when you usually play the ukulele, the guitar, I'll also be talking about the differences between the two of them. So uh, yeah, if um, that seems to interest you, uh, watch the rest of the video. And um, I'll be right back with my sister playing the, f uh, playing the piano. Uh, she plays the flute and the piano. She's been playing the piano since she was eight years old eight years old so um maybe this inspires you to maybe take it up uh being able to play the piano is actually a very uh good skill to have because you learn how to uh balance out your memory it's more of like you have to memorize your right hand and memorize your left hand so it's really good to first learn piano and then move on to different instruments I would branch out to different instruments just because the piano sends, sets a really good base for what you need to know and um, it'll help you understand rhythm more clearly than if you were to start with um, a pian uh, or a clarinet or a flute directly because it takes it takes really time to develop a rhythmic you know sense so um, starting off with the piano when you're when you're a kid is actually the right way to go so um, yeah Moving on, I'll just uh, pass it on over to my sister. So uh, enjoy her piece and uh, we'll be right back. guys so I am back um hopefully you guys enjoyed that so um I don't know if you could clearly hear but when my sister ended her piece she ended with a chord and I'll explain it again a chord is when you play three or more notes at the same time so she's going to be playing it again so hopefully you can hear it and you can hear how different it is than playing just one note So 
um that's how it sounds like and i'll go more into depth depth about this and basically the different types of chords you can play in various scenarios in just a bit thank you hi guys so here i am at the piano um i'll be showing you guys the different types of chords now um so yeah let's get into it um i'm not sure if you remember from two videos ago but we basically went over the different types of major scales and minor scales so um we compared and contrasted them and one of the differences between major and minor skills is that major sounds very happy positive uplifting whereas minor scales sometimes sound uh sad angry really deflated um pessimistic i guess so um chords are they work in the same way so um mainly you actually play uh only these two different types of scales there's many other ones but this is what you typically will play on the piano, uh, the guitar, and the um, ukulele. So I'll show you guys, like, uh, I'll compare and contrast the major and minor scale chords. So hopefully you guys can hear the difference. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So for a major chord, this is what it will sound like. If you describe this chord in words, you would say, you know, it sounds happy. It sounds sounds like life's good, you know. But um, but yeah, that's not the case for all, all the chords. You know, you can have different types of chords. Um, another major chord actually will sound like this. Again, really happy, nice. So these are two major chords. are what major chords typically will sound like. I'll play a minor chord now just for reference. So a minor chord will sound like like you can hear it. It sounds very soft, very like deflated. It doesn't sound like it's a happy chord and um, believe it or not I only changed one note in that chord for it to sound like that. So um, depending on the scale you can change just maybe one note and it'll give a totally different vibe. So this is um, the major chord and then this is the relative minor chord. I misspoke, not relative minor, but it's I'm just changing one note. So I, I would say that they're very similar, right? Um, similar in notes, except I just pitched down one of them so i'm pitching down this note i'm pitching it down to here and it changes the entire vibe so so yeah that's the difference between major and minor chords and um yeah uh that's basically how you play them um it's it's nothing very special i guess but um typically pianists will have to play the left hand with chords and the right hand with the melody so um i don't know if you could or you can remember um my sister when she played it she was like da -da 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 and that was basically what she played on her right hand and then she played heavy well not heavy but lower note chords on her left hand which gave the piece much more volume it gave it more dimension whereas if i played it maybe on maybe on like a clarinet it wouldn't give you that much um volume because i could only play the melody on it so it'd be like da -da 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 whereas for the piano it sounds much more elevated just because you have the chords um on her left hand supporting the melody on her right hand so yeah, that's typically how you play the piano or I guess how you navigate through it. Um, as I said before, it is a hard instrument, but I very much recommend that you play it in the beginning of your musical career or at least maybe like one time, maybe just learn it because it gives you a really good overview of rhythms. And because it's so hard, then when you move to playing an instrument, it'll become, become way easier. So um, 
yeah, I definitely recommend this. Um, so now let's move on to the guitar and the ukulele. Hey guys, so I'm back with this guitar. It's huge, so I can't fit it in the frame, but this is what it essentially looks like. I'm also back with my ukulele. Um, my friends gave me this on the on my birthday, so they painted this cute sunflower on the side. But yeah, um, these are the two instruments that I have today, and I'll be telling you basically the difference between this ukulele and this entire guitar <laughs> that I have. So um, let's get into it. First, I'll be playing the guitar. I'm I'm not a playing the guitar. I'm just going to be strumming it because um, I haven't personally learned how to play the guitar. I just have it. So in the future, when I do want to play it, I can you know jump right in. So um, this is basically how you will hold a guitar. You'll have your left hand holding the neck of it, and you'll have your right hand around it, sort of strumming the guitar. So um, this is the the position to hold it and um i don't know if you can see clearly but there are lines here for the guitar so um this is a signal for where to put your fingers so if i wanted to play again a chord i will have to put my hands on like one of these one of these frets just so i can like play it play a different chords so um if i had my hands down on like multiple of them it'll give me a different sound than if i just had it on the, if i was just to strum the guitar without any fingers down so um just to give you an overview of the sound of a guitar i'm just going to be strumming it plain so that's what it sounds like um so yeah it it has six strings if you can see them properly I'm um, not sure if you can, but it does have six strings, whereas the ukulele actually only has four strings. So, um, if you can see it, it only has four strings. So for the ukulele, you'll hold it the same way, except it's not going to be as big, so you can just strum it like this. And the place where you want to strum your ukulele is here. So right where this brown part meets the body of the ukulele, that's where you want to strum it. But for a guitar, typically most people strum it in the sound hole, which is the big hole in the middle of the guitar. Um, that's where you get the best noise. So um, yeah. Um, however, for sorry, however for a ukulele, it's best to strum it here just so you can get a better sound with it. So um, I'll go ahead and start playing the ukulele just because I learned it first, so I can probably play it better for you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, let me try. So this is different chords on the ukulele. So I'll try showing you guys. So. And then there's this chord. That's basically the different chords you can play on a ukulele. It's considered more of like a Hawaiian instrument, very tropical sounding. Um, if you can hear it, it sounds way higher than, than the guitar sounds like. So if I strummed it. And so yeah, that's basically what a ukulele sounds like or the general vibe of it. Um, Typically when people play the ukulele, they sing over it. So that is acoustic singing um, If you we if you join me for my live stream class, you would know that um, basically any Instrument that you can play that's not electronic um, That is basically acoustic. So a ukulele is considered a, an acoustic instrument So is the piano not the keyboard the piano and the guitar so um those would be considered you know acoustic instruments so typically when people want to sing acoustically they will either take the guitar the ukulele and um you know sing over it or the piano so um so yeah um so the differences 
the main difference between the ukulele and the guitar and i know i said this already is the number of strings so um when the ukulele has four strings it's typically considered easier to play than a guitar since the guitar has a total of six strings so um if you were to if you wanted to play the guitar you know go for it i know so many people who played the guitar first and were really good at it but um i would also maybe suggest you know playing the ukulele first just so you can get a feel for it maybe if you like it or not um before purchasing something as like big as the guitar so um yeah just my opinion though you can you can start the guitar if you'd like um but i'll also be talking about these these are called tuning pegs so um what you do is you basically twist them just to change the tune of your instrument so say i were to play this then i would change this tuning peg and if i move it I don't know if you can hear but the pitches alter um you can probably hear it better actually on the guitar than you can hear it on the um, ukulele just because the guitar is bigger and has more range so uh, i'll try showing you guys but if i were to play puck pluck the string um like this oh, i don't know how to fit it in the string but and i were to change this tuning pack it would be like So yeah, um, not, I'm not certain if you can hear that across the screen, but it's basically altering its pitch just because I'm changing the tuning peg. So, um, you know, um, that's basically what keeps your pitch. Um, usually some guitarists will tune it a little bit down, so not perfect pitch, just tune it a little bit flatter than what it is originally, just to give it a more dramatic, deeper, sort of Spanish guitar feel, you know, so it, it just sounds more uh, enchanting, enticing, you know, um, no one, uh, but yeah, that's basically it, tuning pegs will make any guitar sound different, um, so yeah, each guitar has its own tuning style so like you can't just look at the position of a tuning peg and try matching it up on any guitar you know it has to be just for your guitar and the way you tune it to re to know if it's um tuned perfectly or not is you can either get an app on your phone you know there's a guitar tuner you can get them for free or you can get just you know a normal instrument tuner or if you have it memorized like what the tone sounds like in your head then you can definitely tune accordingly so um yeah that is basically what i wanted to go over in this youtube video hopefully you guys enjoyed um check out my next live stream or join me for more um youtube videos i would be very happy and grateful and i will see you guys next time thank you